You're saying welcome to the jungle is what describes uh, so far in 2017. That, that's actually the exact phrase that we used to describe this year back when we put the year ahead out back at the end of November, early December of last year, knowing that we would get so many more of these sorts of, whether it's geopolitical events or even domestic related issues, all of the complications going on in Europe and we, we can run through French elections and all the other things that we knew were coming. Welcome to the jungle is appropriate because mm. you feel very uncomfortable in a jungle. Mm. It's a place where you've got loads of mosquitoes flying around, you don't know where the tigers are lurking, uh, coming to get you. Uh, even though there are opportunities, you still have this feeling in your stomach that there's something is, is not quite right. It's and not I think... a great environment to start off the year in, is it? And we are no. only in April. I mean, we've we only just hit the first quarter, really. Yeah, that's right. And there's still plenty more things to be watching out for. The thing is, though, with all of these things, these are, in our view, very small probabilities of extreme events. And I would put that exactly on the career issue. This is not something new. It's been an issue for a long time. Mm -hmm. There are some new elements in it in that we still do have now uh, the third leader uh, in place in North Korea uh, and also a relatively younger uh, person. And at the same time, you do have the new leadership in the US. So mm -hmm. it's getting used to the new balance of how exactly the interactions go. But at the end of the day, you usually do always end up with coming back to the negotiation mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. And that is something we should also be watching for, even if we are feeling pretty so uncomfortable right now. how much insurance would you be putting in your portfolios now based on that assessment because I mean you know from what you're saying yeah, yes we're in a jungle so it's uncomfortable however it's not that it's not really that bad when you look out into the future well you've got to have some sort of coverage and have some something to try to to be able to mitigate some of these risks and certainly be wary of them mm. but to say oh I'm gonna need nothing because there's so many things that could go wrong I'm gonna hide under my bed you can't do that either mm. and I think for a lot of investors this year there's been lots of frustration since the start of the year all those people that were long dollars uh, that were positioned for a bigger sell-off in emerging markets, for the renminbi to sell off hard. Uh, a lot of people have been very caught out. And Are I think also you, they can trade the geopolitics or is it just simply too risky? I think it's a, it's a very tough one to decide on trading. Instead, it, it makes more sense to, yes, you want to try and get some sort of protection. Certainly you're seeing that right now okay. with, you know, moves into gold and the rise in the VIX and these sorts of usual things, the yen having a little bit of strength. Yeah. But you also need to be thinking about, well, what else is coming this year? Are we going to get another leg higher in the U.S. reflation trade or not.